Hey guys, Call of Duty Game here, and in this video, I have some HG40 gameplay on the new map Spire in the Eclipse DLC. So, as some of you know, I actually don't have the HG40, but there's this one guy in my server who had it, and in this one game, I kept running around and killing him quite a bit. So, I got a decent amount of gameplay in this video for you guys of this weapon. Um, just gonna give you my opinion on this weapon and this map. This is probably my favorite map in the DLC. Um, later today, I'm going to release an Eclipse DLC review on my main channel for the multiplayer part of it. Um, that's mainly just because I want to release one video on my main channel, but I won't really be covering it too much more on my main channel other than that. Uh, most of my COD content is on this channel, but don't forget to go and check that out if you aren't already subscribed to my primary channel, but the HG40 is a pretty good weapon. I mean, a lot of people said it was bad, but whenever I pick it up, I seem to go in decent streaks with it. Um, it's obviously a three-shot kill, and recently the three-shot kill range got buffed. I don't know why YouTubers aren't really talking about that too much. They're mostly just talking about the HVK, which is actually pretty good also. But uh, three-shot kill range getting buffed is pretty awesome. I just wish the Call of Duty would actually tell you how much it got buffed by because Battlefield will give you full patch notes telling you stuff like that, like the distance of how much stuff got buffed by, but uh, Call of Duty doesn't seem to do that. They just say it got buffed or it got nerfed um, or what got nerfed, but it doesn't tell you specifically by how much or what happened. So again, Spire, it's, for those of you who don't know, it's basically set in a airport terminal but it's like suborbital so it's really high up in the sky and it'd basically be an airport terminal that would transport you into space which is pretty sick and this DLC overall is amazing but this is probably my favorite map this or knockout I mean this map's just amazing I could play this map for hours and hours without getting bored <laughs> same with knockout I mean obviously I've only played about this map I've only played probably about 30 or 40 minutes on and knockout I've probably played like an hour and a half on but they're both just such great maps. I mean, they're really colorful, but they don't go too overboard, like something like Splash. I mean, they're kind of realistic, too, and they also just flow really well. They have three lanes, but they're not just direct three lanes, where if you look down one side, you can just see completely to the other side. They have great obstacles in between uh, those lanes that really just provide great cover for you to run through. And even if you are running along the long lines of sight, there's still places to hide and just obviously the map flows really well and that's why I like it a lot. I do hope you guys enjoyed this video, some HG40 gameplay. I actually have 870 crypto keys saved up, but I have a feeling we might get some more DLC weapons next week because exactly one week after they released the Awakening DLC, they gave us some new weapons. So I'm really just saving up for that. So expect a supply drop opening whenever we get some new weapons. But that's what it was the guest. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you guys next time.